2018 Jeep Wrangler First Drive Review, Improving in Nikon. Tucson, Arizona. We crept, with the lightest conceivable touch of the quickening agent pedal, over a stone-strewn mountain top only outside of Tucson. We'd been driving for a couple of hours effectively, through city boulevards, along the thruway, through twisty extends only outside of Saguaro National Park. In any case, it wasn't until the point that we were pointed skyward, at such a serious vertical slope, to the point that we could just scarcely make out the hands of the trail manager head, that we knew Jeep had nailed the 2018 Wrangler design. That light mid was punctuated by the shrieking steel effect of a slip plate along the barb edge of a stone. Just something feels appropriate about a vehicle planned with virtue of reason. Leave the one measure fits all way to deal with the moderate size hybrid. Quit endeavoring to be everything to all individuals like the fair size vehicle. The issue with intolerant vehicles, however, is that they all require a type of noteworthy trade off to live with once a day. With the latest version of the iconic Wrangler, Jeep set out to banish as much compromise as possible. Smoothed out corners and light away in materials improve efficiency, a range of engine choices opens the envelope to a larger swath of buyers and big infotainment screens and backup cameras make the 2018 Wrangler easier to live with than ever before. But that essential purity of purpose remains intact. The latest Wrangler is better in every way than its predecessor, a fact that rings true no matter what type of terrain you're driving on. A casual observer may not notice the subtle exterior tweaks made to the 2018 Wrangler, codenamed JL, over the JK model it replaces. The round headlights, LED units on higher-end models, now cut into the outer two vertical grille slats, which are candied back just enough to make a difference in the wind tunnel. The windshield, too, is swept back further than ever before, but not so much that it messes up the Wrangler's timeless design. Hood and door latches are still externally bolted to the body, crucially allowing the doors and windshield to be removed or folded down for the pinnacle of open-air motoring like little lumps of clay the designer forgot to smooth out. Vents in the front fenders reduce underhood pressure and keep the hood from writhing about at speed as it did on Wrangler models in the past. So picky are Wrangler customers that Jeep's decision to move the turn signals ignited a thousand threads on internet forums worldwide. What happens when you swap the fenders for greater tire clearance? The aftermarket and Mopar's own parts catalog have that covered. Additional lights bigger wheels, winches, lift kits, all will be available by the time the first 2018 Wrangler JL rolls off the showroom floor. Jeep knows the Wrangler is a kind of blank slate to its owners, so a bank of auxiliary switches come straight from the factory to make it easier to install accessories.